Hey there, folks. It is early, pre-daylight, 5.21 a.m., uh, Friday, November 17th, 2017. 5.22. 5.21 is self-understanding, coming together, harmony. And uh, uh, that, that's the one. One is self, uh, or group of two, is harmony, understanding, compassion, and five is movement. And twenty-two, five, twenty-two is very strong understanding, and five is movement. Uh, It's important for us, while we're in school, so to speak, <laughs> it's more like an abuse therapy, uh, tr abuse training, when we're in a body to, uh, well, we do things physically, and metaphysically, more so than ever, and it's going to keep changing, and we do a lot of metaphysical stuff. Uh, along with the physical and you're not complete until you're using both using both your conscious mind to take care of things equations thought process doing this doing that but also relaxing flowing out of your body uh, and doing things metaphysically seeing traveling talking with other folks on other planets yeah how about that other planets you can talk to people on other planets when you learn how to use your abilities You have to be real strong to do that, but still you can talk to people uh, out in space without a problem, but definitely around the world. The problem is they have to be tele uh, tele telepathic too, not telekinetic. No one's telekinetic right now, no one. Anyway, uh, I just finished having a real quick talk with uh, Mel A. Uh, there's a patient uh, with Sereni, the Serpoian, uh, Eben, Gray, Set of Reticulin, whatever names they've been given. Uh, Anyway, I've talked with, uh, also with uh, Tear and uh, I'm looking at stuff while I'm talking. I'm a little uh, slow sometimes, too, in the morning. Uh, I refuse to take blood pressure medicine. One of the ways I'm going to go is by this heart attack. My blood pressure is usually 160-something over 110 or something. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'll keep going until I need to, and then it'll be easier for me to drop. It's not suicide. It's just, you know... It messes with me, blood pressure does. Uh, the blood pressure uh, medicine does. Sometimes you see my face, especially with the incandescent light on. Uh, it, it's got a lot of four red, four red rays in it. I used to use that uh, when I was a kid to make my plants flower. Anyway, uh, it shows off more red, but my blood pressure is so high it, that that and the incandescent red light sometimes make my makes my face look very red. Anyway, uh, just trying to explain stuff. That's what I do. Um, 
there's a lot of people here that are powerful, ready and awake to get going. They've been cranked up. They're very aware of what's happening. Very strong. And they're about to help everyone understand they are leaders. That doesn't mean follow them into a battle and everybody dies and or other stupid stuff. They understand. We learn from everyone. We should all be teachers. When you just live your life as an awakened being, you're a teacher. Be the change you want to see in the world, remember? That was most of my last life. Anyway, uh, I also talked, like I said, also also talked with Tear, and uh, I asked him about his, uh, Raag and Og is two two of his sons, and I gave then I also talked to a, uh, a Drock ambassador. Um, he's uh, an incredible person for the Drock. He's young, especially to hold his position, but he he's earned it. Um, he's also uh, family. So, he's of my family, my immediate family. So anyway, um, I gave them a, a time to be here. The other side gave me a date. I gave them the same date, and I talked with each one of them. Uh, when you first become telepathic, how do you know you're even doing it? You start having a conversation and you realize that you're being told stuff that is from nowhere. And you actually can see the person you're talking to, not see exactly what they look like, although some of you can do this, especially those that you, those of you that are solar plexus oriented. When you see through the crown, telepathically it's important to see through the pineal, but when your scan is working really good, you go through there too. Um, Damn that heart. Um, anyway, uh, so tired of this. Anyway, um, when I talked with the uh, my the the, the drug gentleman council member, I of course gave him the same offer. Time to hold a chair. Um, And we had a longer conversation. Um, when I went in Sereni's head, the Serpations, they're like the Naantids, but they're, uh, they're a little smaller in size. Um, uh, and they like to cruise through space, whereas the original Naantid uh, beings like to burrow into a planet, make a home. So they don't destroy it, they help it. Anyway, uh, When I talked with the draw council member, uh, he wanted to have a conversation. He had some time. He was kind of like in a sleep um, relaxation mode. And uh, um, I don't want to really tell you the conversation. I'm trying to find the right way to say this. Um, he asked me some questions. I gave him some answers. Um, remember that uh, when I talk to you, I am what I am. I'm talking through the body. When you talk through the body, it's not the same as being your regular self. Excuse me. Your emotions um, in your base chakra, they, they, they're flowing through the body. They're more excited. Things are calmer when you're out of your body. If you go to look at someone and just see how they are, usually you'll show a big face and that's it. There's no expression, there's no nothing. Sometimes people see something like that, they say, oh, it's evil. No, it's not. It's someone just looking at you, just, how you doing? Okay, all right. Because um, it's that part of your spirit that's out of the body. So... But uh, anyway, uh, 
he asked me some questions we were talking and there is uh, the wording he used he used it was me and him talking and it's uh, it's not the same as a regular conversation sometimes it is sometimes it's not uh, but he was talking about a drock invasion and it's going to happen but it's not an invasion on us it's they're going to come in physically and take out the rest of the problematic Anunnaki on this planet. Now, what you see on the internet is a bunch of dates and stuff. I've given uh, one date. And that's when a uh, tsunami was supposed to hit us. Little did I know that what I was wouldn't allow it to, to happen. Um, I also didn't know that the original first being male and female were liars to the point where that would happen. I saw the uh, effects of it. I saw um, the uh, water coming in, hitting, uh, hitting uh, the lower U.S., especially on the eastern uh, front, all the way out to, uh, towards Texas. And uh, I was even in a crystal shop where I looked at this girl and I said, oh shit. And I, I saw her in a car and she's going to be on Highway 10, which goes real close around Louisiana, gets real close to the ocean, Texas, whoops, Texas, it's really close. So I looked at her and I said, you're going to be with three other friends, two of them are a couple. They're in the back seat. You're the passenger. Some other girl's driving. And you two are going to be in the car going down Highway 10 from the east side towards uh, uh, Atlanta, Florida, going out towards Texas. And she freaked out. She said, what the hell? How'd you know that? The lady that was uh, there in the place, her name was Connie. Um, the... Uh, the Meditating Manus was the name of the shop. It's long dead. I told Connie she needed to get her act together. She started giving me a hard time, and I said, you got to get your act together. I said, among other things, I said, for you, I'm a test. And uh, she had problems. She was arrogant, um, had real issues. Um, when I was Pahana, uh, she was my daughter. Her spirit. And uh, she had the same issues then. She still can't get over it. Aggressive, controlling, arrogant. So um, she had a shit fit that I was, you know, I have my own psychics that talk to people. I, I don't care. This tsunami's coming. Unless something stops it, this tsunami's coming. I had to get a hold of two people and talk to them to tell them this tsunami wasn't coming. I mean, to tell them, to tell them this tsunami was coming and I wanted it, I wanted to stop it. I had to do whatever I could to stop it. I talked to one person who was Andromedia and I would talk and try to reach him and I got his, uh, the woman that uh, was taking care of stuff for him. Um, he's famous, well known. And at the time, he didn't even understand who he was. He does now though. I wrote and I wrote to him and tell him about this tsunami coming and the, the woman who was taking care of him and she was aware of who Greg, what Greg was. Okay, maybe I'm starting to push away from what I, how much I wanted to say. But anyway, uh, so now Greg understands. But anyway, uh, uh, I told her, I said, this is going to happen. I need to let Greg know. And uh, she said, okay, thank you for your talk. And I said, I, I need to hear from Greg. So, of course, I never heard from him. So then uh, I wrote back about a week later, and I said, look, this event is going to happen unless it's stopped. And I said, I, I have to put information about this around the world. And I would love to be made a fool of, look like an idiot. If it could be stopped. So. 
uh, and I said, and I knew she was going nowhere with this. I said, gee, I know it's in Greg's DNA. Does he? That time she finally, you know, came back with a quick, quick response. Thank you so much, blah, 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 blah. And I just blew him off. She didn't want him to know yet. The other person worked for NASA, <laughs> Palladian. And they're the ones that got involved to do something to make it not happen. And myself and two other, well, myself and another person, really cool guy, quite, uh, <laughs> I'm going to watch what I say. Um, he and I and uh, um, Faye Essence were there in our natural forms and help the Pleiadians do something. They brought some other folks here. Energy beings actually, uh, um, what you call it, uh, little source kids to come here to do stuff. Anyway, uh, it was stopped. And then I later found out the part I had in it on two different levels. And it was, it was good. You know, I had to, uh, I was in a situation of eating crow. Um, had I been aware when I saw my part in it, and, and a friend of mine was brought, brought it up to me, and um, we were talking about it, and I just, I had to do that anyway. I kept seeing that wave come closer, more people dying, animals floating everywhere, dead animals. Anyway, uh, that was the 8 11, 11 tsunami that was stopped. Good. So immediately, you know, that uh, throws stuff around the world. This guy's a nut. Um, that's why on the other side, there's always things going the other side controls this side. Powerful source can create a universe in three and a half to five seconds. Yeah. Take little pieces of heavy particulate matter and every one of them gets transmutated into a huge planet. So, anyway, I got off the track of what I was saying. Of, um, I don't mind telling people about things that uh, uh, where there's problems or where I've made a mistake. My only mistake was what? Talking about something uh, out in public that uh, wound up didn't happening, that I didn't understand the full extent of, of what I was, because I didn't, I was just waking up. Or that they were having any faith whatsoever in the original first being male and female when they first brought it up to me. They knew it would be uh, stopped. So. So that's okay. I mean, just deal with it. Just, I mean, just the thing is, relax. Let it go. Um, the other side controls this one. It's a good thing it was stopped. Now, having said all that, our friends are coming very soon. And you'll find out later that what happened. Some people lost their lives. You'll find out BP's oil company's um, part they played in it. The uh, humanoid royal Anunnaki, royal Anunnaki family, the problematic ones. The guy called Lloyds of London that I call Lloyds of London, he's dead. Uh, you'll find out about all that later. But anyway, um, that taught me that until there's something on the other side that can really control things and the way things are made to happen, it has to flow back and forth. It has to be uh, uh, brought into play and then taken away um, as, as necessary to better enhance your lives. When the original first being male and female were around, it didn't matter. They didn't care. 
they were going to put you through the abuse they thought was enough that you could handle and still maximize uh, your growth while in the body. Um, but anyway, uh, so this quote-unquote invasion force, the word used, the only people who are going to think of it as an invasion are the problematic Anunnaki that are still here, the leaders. They're going to come rip them out. You'll see the ships come. You'll see a few beams come out of the bottom of the uh, ships. And then you'll see them take off. So anyway, he asked me about that. So I told him. Told him basically something had to happen first. Um... I can't tell you exactly when it's going to happen. It's not up to me. It looks like I'm stuck in this body till at least April. I got to get into court, finish this court case, bring all this stuff into court, proving metaphysical abilities are real. Now, what everyone's thought they've been by the way things have happened with your quote unquote psychics and stuff like that. Uh, supposedly knowing this, saying that, and what they were going on is what they were told, and then what they were told half the time was lies to make sure it didn't happen. They looked like idiots. When it, There's a lot of people who are strong metaphysical practitioners that I've talked to over the years that say, Jay, I don't know what's going on, man. I talk to my spirit guides really well, and... I, I got the information. I got the information right. I gave it to him, and it was just wrong. I said, well, you know, I try to explain what I'm just telling you now. The other side controls what happens there, and sometimes you're made to be a fool. They do that to you. The, the, the original angels, when they used to be here, they would fire up your energy, go into your base chakra, chakra and then fire up your energy going up your spine. So, um, and they so they make sure that you said what they wanted you to say. And then they turn around; they cannot happen. Nice, huh? Anyway. Coffee's done. Time for the grapefruit juice. There's, uh, there's so much I want to tell you. But anyway, this uh, all this stuff is just going to happen. You'll see it. I don't have a date, but it's going to happen. The Drock, they're serious, folk. I know their power level. I know their strength. I know their fortitude. Their bodies were made from the original era. They are powerful. Great, now I'm slurping my uh, grapefruit juice. Anyway, uh, so you're going to see them. Or it, it'll be caught somewhere um, and put on the internet when they really come. But they also need to be seen in person for who they are. And if it doesn't happen while I'm still in a body, it will happen shortly after. When I say surely, I don't know, six months, eight months. Eight months after. Eight months. They will be here in person talking with governments and stuff. Um, uh, by by the end of 2018, period. And they're going to tell them, we're here for everyone. And you all ain't doing a shit job of taking care of the people you're supposed to represent. You're taking care of yourselves. So we're here to tell you, we're going to hang around, and we're going to be talking with other people here on the planet. And if you don't like it, try to stop us.
So anyway, that's the Drac invasion force. It's, they're coming. They're going to take out the uh, the few remaining Anunnaki issues, and they're anxious to do it. They they're almost done waiting. It's just just a little more time. They're anxious about it too. I talked to a large group of them once, five hundred and seventy, whatever. It's a lot. Well over five hundred of them. I can't wait to get out of this body. I'm tired of not being myself. Anyway, um, so that's something you will see. When it's time for them to show themselves physically, uh, I'm getting eight months after I'm out of here, or eight months from now. Whoa, okay, never mind. Uh, well, that was weird. That's the feel part of me yanking on my emotions. My base shock were cranking it up. It wasn't eight months from my death. It was eight months from now. See, that's... Try and understand what you're seeing. Trust what you're seeing, that you're seeing something right, but then take the time to try to understand it. When I do personal consults, I care about... And I take the time to look and get the best information that I can for you immediately. Uh, folks, I've, I'm, I should have been gone a long time ago. I'm tired of being here. If the other side was organized, I wouldn't be here still. Uh, that's why the field part of me, the part of me that is the field, is slowly killing this body, putting a due date on when I'm leaving. And it's even though it's not an actual date, it's saying that there's an expiration coming. It's the food's getting bad. The drug are going to come. You're going to see him. And they, I swear they look like dragons. <laughs> it's the energy that made them. People think they're reptilian, they're not, they're dragon. Dragon and unicorn, two strongest energies that are. People think about a unicorn and think about some fluffy little white horse with pretty, you know, stardust coming, pretty colored, different colored stardust and flowers on their butt, and they, you know, no, uh-uh. They're incredibly powerful. And the males especially, well, aggressive. They have different abilities than a dragon do, but they're incredibly powerful, very fast, and the males, like I said, are incredibly aggressive, much more aggressive than dragon energy is. Excuse me, dragon spirit. Anyway, um, so there, this is going to happen, and they're waiting for something to happen soon, so it's, someone will catch it somewhere on the, uh, I was going to say radar, Where'd that come from? Um, it'll be seen. It'll come out. Uh, I got another meeting to go to. Anyway. So this will come out in court too, right, my new friend? <laughs> what are you going to do when you find out that your source inside for me and Lily and that you can actually build up energy right now you're a lawyer and you're about to understand what who you really are so what you want to do big guy 
just know you can build an energy sphere, wait till you feel a little tingling or whatever, your solar plexus, so you might just see an image. After the uh, lawsuit's over, uh, if you want to be happy to talk with you about it. Anyway. Folks, uh, love you, take care. That's something that I just found out about right before I made the video. And there's other stuff going on too, but we'll leave that alone also. Folks, I love you, man. Take care. Have a good one.